giveaway thingy what's it um, which was like a loop giveaway where you had to be like subscribed to everybody um, and only a couple of people were doing international um, and I won one of them wow. um, so I actually won Lena I can never remember the number I'm sorry Lena um, I won Lena's giveaway I'm gonna leave her link down below obviously um, now there were a couple of things that were in her uh, giveaway that she had to remove because of uh, the Civil Aviation Authority and some of their stupid rules like not sending nail polish bastards or aerosols. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, so I had to take a break because my camera was full and I had to remove some things. As I was saying, I won Lena's giveaway. Um, it, she had to swap some stuff out, so I don't actually know exactly what's in here. So, uh, yes, yeah, I can't remember what it was she was giving away exactly, because, you know, you kind of watch it and then you forget. Well, at least I do. Um, so, this box is kind of heavy, um, and it did cost her a bit to send it. Um, apparently, postage from America is as bad as postage from Australia, quite frankly. Um, so I thought I would unbox on, uh, in a video. So, um, thank you to Lena, aka Jess, for sending this to me, um, and doing international. I do really very much appreciate it. Um, I can see some things already that, um, are really cool and that I am very happy about. Uh, not going to complain at all. <laughs> Wow, um, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Alright, so number one, we have some Neutrogena makeup removing wipes. I can always use more makeup remover because, you know, you go through that stuff when you wear makeup on a regular basis. Um, and there is also some Cetaphil cleansing cloth for dry sensitive skin which is pretty good because my skin at the moment is super duper sensitive and it is um, getting quite dry as I get a little bit older um, there's also oh, some Cetaphil gentle foaming cleanser which is good because I'm nearly out of the cleanser I'm using at the moment I think I have a sample but Apparently I'm not supposed to film. Um, but she's also put in a Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. I remember this from when I was very young. Everybody used to use Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. And I actually used to use it a lot because uh, I used to do theatre and you use like pancake makeup. It's like super duper thick and heavy. And cold cream is the best thing for getting that off your skin. So that's really cool. We have an Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream in Mandarin and Cedarwood. Ooh, I wonder if this is safe to say. I love citrusy scents. It's got a... That's what it looks like. It looks really good. It is safety sealed, but you can kind of smell it. I can smell the cedar through it, not so much the um, mandarin. Um, I'm not actually going to open it, but that is really cool. I'm looking forward to using that. Mm, I love me some hand cream. I love me some hand cream. Okay, what else have we got in here? Oh, she sent me um, the card. Um, she has put in a whole bunch of um, Zany Laney wax, which is so cool because I've been wanting to get some Zany Laney wax, but it's kind of expensive to ship it from America. Um, and so she's given me the postcard for the Hellmouth one, which is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection, which was last month's. Because this month's is Assemble, which is the Avengers, so I'm pretty sure this is last month's. 
Um, so that's pretty cool. And there is a whole bunch of different waxes in here. So we have How, which is um, the one for the werewolf. Um, Muscadine, Bergamot, and Tarragon. Muscadine is like a wine, I believe. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. What does that remind me of? I can definitely smell the bergamot, which is um, a very citrusy. It smells a lot like oranges. It reminds me of something. I can't think of what it is. But that is really, really nice. Oh, that is amazing. Love that. Um, we have the chosen one, which is the one for Buffy. Which is raspberry, coconut cake, and caramel popcorn. Oh, I can definitely smell the caramel popcorn. With just a little hint of the coconut. There's a slight smell in the... Like, if you're an Australian, you know iced fovos? Um, they're a type of biscuit. Uh, they have, like, there's a biscuit base, and then there's, um, like jam, like raspberry jam on top, and then there's shredded coconut on top of that. That's what this smells like. It smells like iced fovos. That's awesome. <laughs> so, if you're an Australian, that's what it smells like. If you're not an Australian, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, this one is Crypt for Two, which is the one for Spike. You know, bad guy, you've always got to have one for him. Black pepper, oak, and kefir lime. Definitely smell the lime. This is quite a mass, this is more like a masculine type of scent. It reminds me of a men's cologne. It's really nice. Um, they probably smell a little different when they are um, melted than they actually do in the thing. Um, they always smell slightly different. And the last one is I'm Just Me, which is for Willow, which is supposed to be acorns, apples, and cherries. That's different. I can't smell the cherries. I can't really smell the apples either. I can mainly just smell like an acorny type, like tree type of scent. It's weird. It's not terrible, but it also smells a bit like caramel. Hmm, interesting. They are all really, really interesting. Um, if you happen to be in America or you don't mind paying the stupid amount of shipping, which is not Zany's fault, it's just how the postage postal system is, um, I totally recommend. Now, there are actually some more in here from Zany Laney. There's the Dude Where's My Pie, which is from the Supernaturals collection. This is apple pie and vanilla latte. I get the vanilla. Don't really get the apple pie so much. That probably comes through more when you um, burn it, melt it. Sorry. Um, there's also. Um, Smuggler's Bride, which is, um, Star Wars, I want to say, Princess Leia's scent, um, Cinnamon Roll and Fried Ice Cream, oops, it's a bit broken, that's alright, it's wax, um, the thing to know about Zany Laney wax is that they don't have any dyes in them, and they're made from soy, so they're actually not as bad as some are. Yeah, I can smell the cinnamon. Um, and a slight creaminess to it, which I guess is the fried ice cream. Again, that's probably they'll probably smell a bit different once they have been like warmed. And the last one is Born Leader which I believe 
is from Walking Dead one. Uh, this is strawberry, pineapple, eucalyptus and lemongrass. Now pineapple is like my, one of my favourite things ever. Um, and eucalyptus is funny because I'm an Australian, we have eucalyptus trees. Um, yeah. I can smell the eucalyptus. It reminds me of... Um, reminds me of eucalyptus wool wash, hmm. which is not a terrible smell. I don't mind the smell of eucalyptus at all. Um, yeah, well, they'll, be, they'll all be interesting. I have to use my warmer a little bit more often. Uh, she chucked in food, only one lot of food, um, but <laughs> that's fine. I don't really need it. Uh, red vines. I've honestly never had red vines. Because uh, we don't get them in Australia. Um, I hope they don't take, like, taste like licorice because they look like licorice. But um, I will try them out at a later date. <laughs> and I'm sure if I don't like them, uh, somebody in my house will eat them. Because, you know, lollies and stuff. Okay, so what else have we got? We have a... <laughs> Uh, unicorn Glow Hologram Mask, um, Detox and Brightening, uh, I wonder what a hologram mask looks like, it's shiny, wow, uh, <laughs> it's got a hologram sheet on one side, definitely going to have to, uh, maybe do a video, a, a mask and chat or something to use this, because, that sounds too awesome not to do in a video. I love hologram, like I ho love holographic stuff. So, um, and according to the back of it, it's supposed to like be holographic. So yeah. So if you want me to do that, leave me a comment down below, and I will do. I'll do a video. Um, now we're getting on to more of the makeup type stuff. So. There's this uh, try me bag thing that she had, um, which she had to take a couple of things out of because they were like aerosol things, which, you know, um, as I said, Civil Aviation Authority is pretty strong, um, but it was different uh, beauty brands. Um, so there were like 16 originally, but as I said, some things had to be taken out. So there's this brush, which is cool because it's purple. <laughs> Not that I really use brush at the moment. Uh, <laughs> there's a cleansing conditioner for coarse hair. Well, I have coarse hair, so that is uh, cool. Awesome. Looking forward to trying that out. I haven't used anything like that before. There's two Matrix products. There's a shampoo and a conditioner. These are both silicon free. High amplify. Does that mean that it's going to give me lots of body? I really don't need it, but I'll still try them out. They, I'm sure they will be cool. Because like none of these are brands that we get in Australia. Uh, then we have the Chi Silk Infusion for hair and skin. Um, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a leave-in treatment. Cool. Um, not that I really hate treat my hair very much, because, well, clearly at the moment I don't have very much of it to do that with. Um, this is clearly all hairy type stuff. Hair type stuff. Um, the Joico K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Instant Shine and Repair Treatment used to use something similar to this that was made by Schwarzkopf, um, and I don't have it anymore, so that'd be cool to try that out. There is a Moroccan Oil Treatment as well. Cool beans. I like using Moroccan Oil in my hair. Oh, what else is in here? 
uh, Perfect Me Lightweight Beauty Balm Lotion from Wella. <coughs> cool. Um, a 20% off coupon, which is really not much use for me. <laughs> uh, American Crew Forming Cream. Actually, I'm using a like a waxy thing in my hair, so that will be interesting to try out. See what that one's like. There's a tea tree special shampoo invigorating cleanser. Color safe and ideal for all hair types. Cool beans. And there are two more things in a jar and a cool little bag thing, which I will probably pass on to someone else. And the card that tells you stuff about stuff. Uh, the it's a 10 conditioning collection. Cool. So there's a shampoo, a daily conditioner, and a hair mask. And because my hair's so short at the moment, I could get multiple uses out of those because they're like 10 mil each samples. And then there's this cute little bag thing. And in this little bag thing, <laughs> there is a hemp's Blushing Grapefruit and Raspberry Cream Shampoo and Conditioner. Awesome. Sounds cool. And a perfume, which is the Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. And I have honestly never smelt Black Opium that I'm aware of. Um, so I just open it. I mean, I'm not a huge fragrance wearer at the best of times. It's like a cute little spray bottle sample. Hmm. It's not terrible. It's not bad at all, actually. Hmm. Very nice. I'm actually surprised because I'm not usually into that kind of stuff. Then we have a Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm in Sunny Berry. It's like a sheer tint lip balm. I go through lip balms pretty quickly, so I am pretty happy. I'm very happy with that. And another one from Carmex. This one has a sunscreen in it. Not that most of those are much use. Um, uh, this is in Strawberry. Awesome. I like strawberries. We're almost there, guys. There's some things that have been uh, wrapped for safety. We have a Culver Girl Peacock Flare Mascara. Have not tried this mascara. Um, in Australia, Culver Girl, Maybelline, all those kind of things, this kind of like mascara is about $15. 12 to 15 sometimes a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, it's alright. It smells really nice in here at the moment. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so in here is, hang on, I need to find my blade. Because she's taped them up, like, really, really well. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, yeah, bubble wrap. Pegasus little quad. That is cool. It's like it's it's greens. Um, and if you know me, you know I like cool toned colours, and these are all cool toned greens. Oh, they look really cool. to be a huge variation between the colours and they don't necessarily swatch very well um, but I reckon they'd make great just like kind of like lid colours or under eye colours um, and I have quite a few um, I have a few Alme things they're not terrible I know some people don't like them but they're not terrible um, and we have Ooh. The uh, wet and wild. It's really hard to get wet and wild in Australia. Occasionally, 
um, Sephora Australia will have some Wet n Wild stuff, but not very often. So um, this is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air, which is one of the uh, remakes of their old palettes, I believe. Like they remade the um, uh, what's that called? Comfort Zone. One. I actually have the old one. One of my friends. Oh, wow, they didn't want me to get into this, did they? They know I'm package challenged, so they're just like making it more difficult. Oh, got it. So that is what that looks like. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that it's got mattes and um, shimmers in it. Um, yeah, let me comment down below if you want to see me create a look with my new palette. And finally, we have an e.l.f. product. which um, yeah, You can get e.l.f. in Australia, but again, it's not as um, cost effective as it is in um, America. And I actually have not seen this palette when I've been looking. This is the Natural Glow Face Palette, which has a bronzer, highlighter, and two blushes in it. This is the fresh and flawless one. Um, wow, shiny, shiny, shiny. Oh. I can see myself on the back, that surprised me. <laughs> oh dear. Now that is what that looks like. That's, that's, that's. Hmm. Nice. Nah, that doesn't look too bad at all. It's what I look like I'm with. It's kind of hard to see, but then, you know, like, I am... That's actually a really good contour colour by the look of it. Um, not the best spot. Um, that's the contour. They look really nice. I'm, I'm not... I am going to have fun playing with that. Thank you so much, Lena, um, for making your giveaway international for a start, because that made my life so much more fun. Um, so, of course, I will leave Lena linked down below. Make sure you go and check her out. I am going to have so much fun with all of this stuff. Um, I'll put it all away now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm super excited by this. Uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe to my channel, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup unboxing type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.